Mike's in the studio. Good to be back with you. It's been a while since we've been able to say this. Leo, open up the Jason Show mailbag. Here we go, everybody. You got me. So uh, many of you have a lot to say about our time at the Minnesota State Fair. Uh, we have loved reading them, let me tell you, including this moment that happened on Friday when I surprised my two British friends with a visit uh, from a pair of baby pigs uh, at the fair. Uh, in their list of things they wanted to do on this visit, it was their dream to see some baby pigs. And thanks to executive producer Jeff and the miracle of birth folks, we made that happen. And those tears were real. Uh, Joanna and Beth talked about that for the remainder of the weekend. Well, <laughs> Paula says, never have I ever cried over a baby pig. But here I am because of the Brits joy. The best. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, that was that was authentic. And Rick commented saying, I love the British gals. Please have them on again. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, now it seems though one person on <laughs> this is this is I tell the audience sometimes and there's a couple people that have been here many times. I tell people when you when you have a show and I have, I have the radio show of this and Kendall knows you, you're never surprised about what people say to you. I mean, people, you, you would not believe our emails. The darndest things. The darndest things. <laughs> and this is example one. It seems one person on YouTube isn't so sure about those sneaky Brits. <laughs> A user named Carrot Company says, <laughs> let's speculate what the end game is for these two supposedly British girls. Ooh who are supposedly bartenders at Disney World. How about we submit a list of questions to determine what parts of this story are true? <laughs> he continues, no, we're not done. Exactly where in the UK do they come from? What city were the Bee Gees born in? <laughs> Don't know what that means. What's the most popular brand of beer in the UK after Guinness? And do they know Jason is married? <laughs> Let's start with these questions and we will continue our fact-finding mission. I really mean this. We did not make that up. That is a legit, you can go on our YouTube and see that's a legitimate comment. Uh, dear sir or madam, um, <laughs> Please I address. can't believe I'm yes. addressing this, Please but address. they are legit. Believe me, I know about fake British people. I know. <laughs> you said it before anybody else could. Yeah, uh, it's a long story. Go ahead. If you Google me, you'll find it. Uh, I, I dated somebody that pretended to be British. Anyway, uh, many, many years ago. Anyway, I know there. Uh, I'll quickly say this because I don't want to take up too much time. I said this, and, and you'll see the stories, by the way, tomorrow. you got to see what we did with them at the fair. I'll talk a little more about it later. Um, yeah, I'll save it for later. Uh, you, you, I'll, I'll, yeah, Th it was joyful. What they showed right there, that's really who they are. Next up, a comment about a story Kendall did last week. She visited the cheese curd capital of the world, also known as Ellsworth, Wisconsin. Kendall went to work at the Ellsworth Creamery to make some curds. Well, we got an email from Jan. I laughed so hard when Kendall was on the packing line boxing up those curds. It was so reminiscent of the Lucy and Ethel Chocolate Factory episode. Taking on the nine to five jobs is always fun. Your next big job is motherhood. And you're gonna make the best mom ever. You sure will. That's so sweet. Thank you. And you'll see that happen on our season premiere. <laughs> Look at all the angles. You'll see Kendall enter motherhood on Monday, <laughs> September 11th, on our ninth season premiere. Uh huh. That's right. It's in my contract. That's right. <laughs> Next, a comment from someone who got to play Pictionary with us at the fair. Uh, so here's a deal. Here it is right here. On the first uh, Saturday, Pictionary TV host Jerry O'Connell visited our state fair booth, and uh, I got a chance to uh, a play with my friend and host of Person, Place, or Thing, Melissa Peterman. You know, the friend of the pickle. Uh, <laughs> Jane says, I'd like to thank you for letting me play Pictionary and for the generous $1,000 air voucher. I'm looking forward to planning a vacation. Jane
Jason, Melissa and Jerry were all gracious, humble, authentic and extremely fun to play with. No, you were great, Jane. No. Jane was lovely and I believe it was her husband. I, I said I would never forget their names because her name was Jane and his name was Austin. <laughs> so Stop. Jane Austin. No, I think they were mother and son. I don't know. I, I think they <laughs> forgot the relationship. Finally, a comment about something I wore during the fair. Early last week, I wore a sweater uh, on one of the cooler mornings. Well, Laura in Seattle sent an email to us saying, tell Jason the sweater on Monday's broadcast is his best yet. I was staring at the screen because I can't for the life of me tell the color. Is it pink meets orange or is it pink adjacent? <laughs> In any case, uh, it's so darn cute, I felt compelled to pass along the compliment. Yeah. So? Leo, take five. I got so much grief for that damn sweater. Why? I walked in the next day, and executive producer Jeff looked at me, and he goes, you weren't wearing a Jason Show polo yesterday. <laughs> what? Sorry. I said, I said it that day. Oh, you did say it that day. That's right, yeah. But... I, I, I didn't I didn't want to wear and it was chilly that morning and I'm temperature sensitive. <laughs> Imagine that Jason Matheson is temperature sensitive. Oh, but I do. That's a light little summer sweater that I actually like. It's peach, by the way. It's a peach. it's a it's it's pink adjacent. I love that. Not salmon. No, peach. I do like that little. Uh, I look. Jeff's mom also did not like that I was not wearing something with the Jason show on it. It runs in the family. Yes, it does. <laughs> I'm just grateful now. I told the audience I'm just grateful now that I'm not in a Polo today that I can I'm in a mm -hmm. back in a suit. You so. look nice. Thank you. You do too, lovely. Keep the emails coming. Keep the emails coming. We do the mailbag on Mondays. We're gonna take a break. We'll be back right after this. Back in a moment. <laughs> oh.